breaking down the filters. You said this was a, um, what brand was this again? Aquascape. Aquascape. Four, four output. Four output, air stone, aerator. Two and two. The cocky Main box. pump being here. Nice. Main pump. Looks like a droid. Going here. They come with 25 feet of wow. cabling. I mean, of uh, tubing for each of the air aerators, and they also have they also had the check valves on them oh, cool. for the one way, mm -hmm. so it can uh, can go out power. the other way. Yeah. The airline through the hole. In this little protective box we had here to keep this safe, um, and the power's in here also, which runs to our outside power right there. So that's it. So we'll get this set up, and we'll show you guys when we go put the, uh, the air stones in there. Okay. So got some cold weather in PA. We have just been winterizing the enclosures, throwing grass and leaves and we have some straw left over from our Halloween decorations so we just kind of dumped a bale in here. This is the tortoises. Uh, they've been under for a while. Box turtles have been out and about a little bit until like last week but now we're, we're going down in the 20s at night so we haven't seen anybody in a in the week this past week. But um, you can see we have leaves and straw and uh, branches that we've thrown on top, all kinds of cuttings. Give these guys a lot of places to hide. They uh, have two areas that are covered with the board, so they have hiding places. They all like to hide under there throughout the summer, so we're hoping that they utilize them. And uh, same with the Hermans. Hermans usually stay in the house, but we've had some dig under the bushes. So we just wanna make sure there's enough coverage for them and we'll keep throwing leaves as long as we're picking up leaves we're going to keep throwing them in there and then we did this last week right robert yes mr robert yes, dear so Sorry. these guys go ahead babe no we had the air stones we put the air stones we did a little video last week on it we put the uh, aquascape um four output pond pump in here that's protected in this little plastic coat and then we have four lines going out we have two aerators in this one two in that one we're going to cut these uh these air lines a little, a little bit shorter um, tuck them in here like we did with the other wires just tuck them on the ground yeah we should, rock. Be, we should be good this will fill up more we won't be draining it anymore the filters are drained they just have to be clean and the pumps that ran these they will all be clean too. It's, it, it went from 70 degrees to, to 40 degrees uh, in one week since last weekend. Yep. So we're gonna wait till it warms up a little bit and uh, and we'll clean these out and put these away for the winter. And uh, and hopefully we had very good luck last year with these tubs. And the, last year the tubs sat on top of the ground um, and we still did good. This year we actually dug them into the ground a little bit. And then plus raised, put them uh, dirt around the uh, about a foot up, kind of raised about raised about eight eight inches and probably about a eight inches to a foot into the the ground itself. So it should give for a little bit more insulation. And um, and plus we put sand in this this year. Last yeah, year did. they didn't have sand, so they just had debris that fell from the trees and you know any of the plants that died and landed on the bottom. So at least this time they. They had the sand all, all season long to dig into, and uh, we know they're utilizing it, especially the little guys. We've seen them digging under where the rocks are down there. They kind of dig under the rocks into the sand. And uh, yeah, this is the first time for these little guys being out here. Big guys were out here last year, so they had a taste of it already. And uh, we brought in the Chinese. Yeah, so we're gonna set that. Uh... And we have this little, t this little container we got from our buddy Tom Ashford. And we're gonna set up the little babies in there we have little baby box turtles. We have five of them and they're just kind of in a little container inside, but 
we want to set them up so they can get nice humidity and these, these little containers are awesome for that and uh and that's gonna be it for the winter we're gonna go see these guys until april i mean if we get some warm days and we've seen we've seen the paintings out the longest the paintings were were out the longest I yeah mean, i mean we had turtles out last saturday because yeah. it dropped so fast mm -hmm. but um, but even in the winter i mean we've seen we've seen warm days in the winter where these guys come out box turtles come out and go back in yeah we used to actually bring those red foots out yeah you know, like a day or two in february yeah, let's where get the sun be. and uh but we're gonna be sad all winter because we're not gonna see anybody and uh we're looking forward to our next venture, which we hopefully hopefully will be in the spring. Yeah, we, we're going to we, make it happen. We definitely uh, we've been lacking on videos, and we're totally aware of that. Um, but we have some things in the works, and like Susan said, hopefully by next week. You know, next, next week. Next week. I wish it was. <laughs> Unfortunately, but, we can't do anything now that these guys are under, so we have to wait it out. You know, we we could have dug everybody up. You know, when it was warm and. We just have no place to put them until until we can get out of Pennsylvania. But yeah, okay. Sammy, Sammy, we took our gazebo down. Uh, just getting ready for for uh, the cold weather and snow and all that fun stuff. Yeah, so we're hoping we're hoping to get back into it uh, after yeah, this couple time. year uh, mm -hmm. lull and and get back to speaking with everybody online again. We miss that. We miss the videos and. Uh, just get back to what we love. Yep, yep. So right now we have these guys, which we which are awesome. We're we're so happy that we we're have, able to have these diamond bats and yeah. diamonds and boxies to keep us uh, to keep us going. But we're hoping to, to grow grow back up again. Yep, yeah, and we got a lot of awesome reptile friends that yeah. are always looking out for us. And uh, absolutely, we know once we're ready to go, we'll have people reaching out to us, you know, to rescue some animals, which we'll, we cannot wait to do again because that's what we love doing. Yes. It's rescuing. We'll keep you guys. Yep. We'll be probably thin, thinned out videos over the winter, but uh, but we'll hit it hard once we uh, we have our game yep. game plan in place. And uh, so so good 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 things and bigger things uh, yes. uh, will be coming. So uh, happy Thanksgiving! Ha yeah, happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Take care.